Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty and Grimmed. Here today for part 40 for the British Grand Prix and my home Grand Prix here at Silverstone. We come into this race after a fairly decent result last time out in Canada, but now on to Silverstone. We won here last season. Can we make it back to back? But we're going to have to do it for P2 as George has put it on pole position. Then it's Hamilton and Alonso, Schumacher and Charles Leclerc, Sainz and Lando Norris. Gasly and Verstappen, Ocon and Piastri, Bottas and Albon, Zenoda and Lance Stroll, Logan Sargent and Joe Guan Yu, Liam Lawson and Magnussen, and the final row of the grid is Enzo Fittipaldi and Nick De Vries. So we're here on the grid then, a one stop usual, starting on the softs, going to the mediums, and hopefully that will take us to another win here at Silverstone. It's the only one I want to win, and we're racing. Here at Silverstone, we've got off the well. Ahead of George Russell on his mediums. We take the lead into Abbey and lead the British Grand Prix. Down in now into Village. We're all single file behind Alonso into P2. We go a bit deep though. Bit deep going into the Village. Now round the loop. And now we're supposed to get a good exit here. And get away from George. But we have heading down now the Wellington train. We're trying to break the toe. Bit aggressively there to be fair, but we keep George behind going into Brooklyn's and now into Love Field. We go a bit wide, but that's been my racing line around that corner around the field. But it has left us a bit vulnerable now as George Russell trying to have a look at the inside of Cops. Three Cops, we're going now. We've run a bit wide. George gets an exit and we're going to go side by side through maggots. George gets the place. We couldn't keep it pinned and now Alonso wants a bit of us going through Beckett's. But from the lead, we've lost out to George. We got it at the start, we've lost it again, and George got away from us. As this is World Tour with Alonso. And we chop him off big time. Going into turn one at Abbey. And now this is Alonso and Hamilton going wheel to wheel. Side by side through Maggots and Beckett's. And Lewis Hamilton comes out on top. And now it wouldn't be long before it's on the back of us. The Mercedes so quick today. George had bolted but he didn't have the pace for George. And now here comes Lewis Hamilton down the inside into Stowe. Job done. We're going to try and hold around the outside. Try and kick him back but we have a big snap of oversteer. And Lewis makes it a Mercedes 1-2. Here in Silverstone, lap 9 now, and this is Carlos Sainz's Ferrari, giving up. So he is out of the British Grand Prix, won this race in 2022, but he finds himself out of it this season. And the soft tyres then did start to degrade quite rapidly. They haven't been the best on our car, and you can see here is a Fernando Alonso. Side by side we go through Magnus and Beckett's, but still not giving on. Neither is Alonso, but he has to back out of it. We run wide then a club, club once again. Down the inside goes Alonso, and once again we drop him off at Abbey. Lap 8 now, Michael Schumacher has got involved. He's passed Alonso, he's got a double toe, trying to go around the outside of us now. We hold off. We hold off Michael Schumacher. Down the inside goes Schumacher again. Alonso's lost out big time here as well. He's lost out. He's dead ahead of McLaren. But we're ahead of Schumacher. Schumacher through. And now Schumacher having a go at us into Abbey. We stay ahead of him. And really, if we're thinking about this properly, we should really get let Schumacher go. He's a quicker car. I have to let him go, really. I wasn't thinking about that at the time, though. It was just, I want to be on the podium at my home Grand Prix. There's now Schumacher right on the back of us into Cops. We hit the curb and run a bit wide. And now here comes Michael Schumacher. He's passed us through Maggots and Beckett. He has to back out of there. We run all the way around the outside lap 9 to the end of lap 9 down the hangar straight here comes 
Michael Schumacher is going to the outside, but he has to think about it. And back out is Fernando Alonso goes to the outside as well. And Alonso re-overtakes Schumacher, their resolved championship rival from all those years ago. And now coming out of club, we run wide, we dip a wheel into the gravel, and Alonso once again up our inside. We're going to play late to chop him off. It's getting dirty there, down at Happy. That's going to end nasty. It's now lap at 10. As we're struggling, we have a big, big tense lap of them coming out of left field. Alonso through, and now Fernando Alon um, Michael Schumacher on the back of the field as well. Back down the inside of Fernando Alonso at Cops. Alonso has to back out of it. He's now lost out to Schumacher. He may even lose out to the McLaren. Behind as well, through Magus and Beckers we go. Now onto the hangar straight for the 10th time. Schumacher's got a good exit. We can swing the right in so Schumacher's hit us. Schumacher's hit us. And Schumacher is gone across into the middle of the track. Lando's out. Piastri's out. Leclerc's out. And it's a big, big, big crash on the hangar straight. Schumacher's out as well. We've somehow kept going in the race. This is a replay of what happened, going down the hangar straight. Schumacher clips us, we then go spinning into the barrier, spinning across the track, and no one can avoid us, we ghosted. This is Schumacher's point of view, and there, there was a gap that was always closing, and then he's turning left, gets his front tire ripped up by Fernando Alonso, and then goes flying across the track into the side of the McLaren, you see Debris Alonso just just go through like nothing's happened, this is how Lando's point of view, Lando just have nowhere to go and that's a big crash for him, and you can see Schumacher there, as now this is Leclerc, who's just going about his business and then suddenly there's a Lamborghini in the middle of the track, wiping him out of the race, and now this is Piastri's point of view, and by the time he sees his teammate get wiped out, it's too late for him because Schumacher is already coming across at some speed. So, make of that what you will. It's a racing incident between me and Schumacher. The aftermath is obviously quite bad. But, as we're racing again here at Silverstone, and we've got a good start as we've dropped back after the incident, and we're up into P2, we're past... Um, those behind Alonso, Lewis Hamilton. Now, have we got the pace this time to stick with the Mercedes as we go through Village in the Loop and Entry? As now, this is Lewis Hamilton on the back of us going down the hangar straight. No contact this time, and like earlier. And now we go deep. Hamilton swaps his dummy, and Hamilton's thrown back up into B2. George once again bolted, the Mercedes are too strong today, and we're once again looking in our mirrors as Alonso tries to go to the outside of us, we squeeze Alonso, but we go deep like we did with Lewis Hamilton, and Fernando Alonso's through, but we're going to send it lane up the inside, into Vail, Alonso now tries to get the exit, as now we clip the curb, and Alonso now gets the exit, and for about the fourth time, Going into Abbey, we chop across him, and now Alonso has to correct the oversteer, and Max Verstappen is going involved in that as well, and now Alonso isn't finished with Verstappen though, as he tries to go round the, the inside of Max Verstappen, Verstappen holds him round the outside, but as it is, Red Bull is also lurking in the wings, as now this is Max, he's pulled away from Alonso and now we really push him off the track really squeeze him there as Bottas goes wheel to wheel then with Fernando Alonso in the veil Bottas tries to hold around the outside then it goes to Alonso for the outside but Alonso is over on so this is Verstappen then on the back of us as we go into Cops now as we've run a bit wider and Max Verstappen's gone thank you very much and slid 
past us there before we even get to maggots and how through maggots and bakers we go and can we get Max back into Stowe I really want to be on the podium here at least as now we try and go to the outside of Max Verstappen around the outside of Stowe Verstappen fends us off and now we're going to have to wait and hope we have the pace of the Red Bull which the pace was so much stronger on these mediums heading down the Wellington straight now we're going to go round the outside of Max Verstappen the crowd on their feet we're keeping it at a British 1-2-3 here at Silverstone now lap 19 this is Max as we run a bit wide to take our racing line Max is at the inside Max is tapped this round and now he's driving into the side of us he spun us round on left field. We spin back round, but we've lost a heap of places. Lots of places we get going again. The tyres are on a fire. And now Albon is looking to try and overtake us. We go into cops, but he can't do that. But everything that could go wrong in this Grand Prix has gone wrong. We create a massive pile-up. We get wiped out by Verstappen at Luffield through Magnus and Beckers be going out. This is Gasly and Albon. What a camera angle this is. And Gasly just gets his nose ahead of Alex Albon. And that's job done for the French driver, the tyre driver trying to get back. But he's too far back going into Stowe to do anything about it. This is Liam Lawson though. Doing well for Alpha Tauri, but we go down the inside of him and get the job done. Alpha Tauri is still yet to score a point this season. And not only in this season, but in this entire career mode as well. So can he hang on? Two laps to go. Albon's not done yet though with Gasly because round the outside at Stowe, he re overtakes the Frenchman. But Gasly's not giving up in his Alpine. Side by side, down into the Vale chicane, and eventually, Gasly has to admit defeat. And Albon is back through, and now, on the final lap, is on the back of Liam Lawson, and now trying to go down against on the Brooklyn's. Now round the outside of left field, who gets the exit? It looks like Lawson has just side by side with pulled away. You can see there side by side. Now who's gonna give in? Going into Cobbs, neither of them. Lawson just ahead. Albon has to back out for now because three Magnus and Beckins, but back at the front, no such issue for George Russell, who's going to win. The British Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton is going to come home for P2 to make it a Mercedes 1 2. Fernando Alonso, with it all going on around him, used his experience, kept his nose clean, and his finishes on the podium just behind Bottas. Verstappen dropped back massively, so he must have contact after spinning this round at Luffield. We are going to come home now for just two points in P9 but the battle back for the final point Albon gets past Liam Lawson now there's Joe trying to go round the outside and he gets the job done Lawson has seen points slipped in the final sector Albon's through Joe's through Lawson out the points Albon gets the final point here at Silverstone Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.
So that's been then your British Grand Prix. What a chaotic race here at Silverstone. But it ended with a 1-2 for Mercedes with Georgia ahead. Alonso actually getting a time penalty for some reason. I think that might be due to the contact he got with Schumacher. So Bottas finishes on the podium. We finished all the way down in P9 after our dramatic Grand Prix and after the spin. So we recover to some points then, even if it's not that many. Is better than none, let's be honest. After the race that happened there, a lot of DNFs. Science retired with an engine issue, and then that crash wiping out Piastri, Lando, Schumacher, and Leclerc. Stroll may have been involved in that as well. He retired as well. A lot of DNFs in that race. So, in terms of the championship, then after we closed the gap with the win last time out in Canada, it's opened out once more to George and Hamilton. We got now 41 points. Schumacher all the way down there, and still many drivers doing it. So your poor Liam Lawson as well. So close to getting his first points. In terms of the constructors, then Mercedes pull a big one then on us with their 1 2. As only picking up two points we were starting to beat away at them but wasn't to be this weekend with the crash some two yet teams yet to score in alpha Tari and Haas. Alpha Tower is so close today with Liam Lawson but disappointing for them. I hope you enjoyed this very chaotic British Grand Prix. Let me know what you think of the crash. Who was at fault there? To me it's a racing incident but more my fault there. We go to Belgium next for our first sprint race of the season and I'll see you then. Goodbye.